It's almost as if these people are just hell bent on going into outer space. Hmm. Uh, Elon Musk, uh, Richard Branson, Jeff Bezos, and I pictured in that order, um, have been on a relentlessly ambitious mission to go to space, plans to colonize space. Um, these three people are probably richer than at least three fourths of all people on the entire planet. Globally. I don't know about you, but I just find it very strange that is this an ego contest? Is there something that they want to avert or avoid? When I hear people talk about colonizing Mars, the amount of scientific effort to do that would be more than fixing Earth. Here's a news report I recently Says saw. space tourism will open space to humankind and change the world for good. If, of course, you have a spare uh -huh. quarter of a million you're happy to part with. And Bezos, like Musk, has dreams of building colonies for trillions of people mm. in space. Now it's the sudden possibility of yeah. everyday people going into space. At the moment it's very rich everyday people, but I think that will translate to more and more of us in the future. Exactly. Grand plans, but some critics have pointed out that the Earth these billionaires are so keen on leaving, there's plenty more pressing yeah, problems to sort look out. Look at the stuff that's being developed. Um, and you look at the extraordinary strides and Elon Musk has even said like the planet's going to go extinct and we need to go to other planets. I think ambition and innovation are great, but I feel like we have so many problems on our own planet. What if these billionaires were in a race to eradicate poverty or a race to broker peace through philanthropy and charity? Um, Here's a report about the state of poverty, uh, a news report that I saw, which I think is dead on. The gulf between the haves and the have-nots around the world. The virus has exposed, works. fed off, Rich and increased people. existing inequalities of wealth, gender, and race. General Hundreds Andrew. of millions of people are being forced into poverty while the richest, both individuals and corporations, are getting even richer thanks to soaring stock prices. The crisis has exposed the inability of our deeply unequal economy to work for all. At the same time, it's revealed the vital importance of government action to protect our health and it's livelihoods. You look all over the world in the conditions people are living in, and then you see people casually I mean, I'm not saying it wasn't great planning involved, but going into space, and if there's people without clean drinking water, there's barren places on the planet where people can't even farm their own food. Um, we've seen devastating effects from whether you believe in climate change or not. There's things changing with our Earth's climate in places that are making some conditions unlivable. Massive pollution. Who's benefiting from that the most? The same people who get to play uh, Buzz Lightyear? Let me know what you think. I'm just talking about that. Let me know in the comments. Peace.